Hey, Maria Marquis here to help with a journaling practice with Coda. So this Coda tip is all about how do you really find a way to make journaling feel authentic and maybe use it to learn and reflect a little bit. So we have a really easy drag and drop template that you can do right inside of your Coda doc just by typing uh, slash and journal and you can choose that journal table right there. And it's got these couple different pieces. So it has the date, right? Which is just today's date. Then how are you feeling? I like that you can kind of start to notice trends and kind of see how that flows over time. Then we use a canvas column for an entry. So here you can just go in here and see all of the details and keep typing. Here I won a thumb wrestling tournament, so I'm feeling really great about it. And I also added a column to this template where I can include an image. So I can say, great, I'm gonna upload an image right here. This is gonna be a beautiful picture of Ned. Ta-da, my fabulous dog. And it's gonna put that in there. So now what I could do is I could say, I wanna switch this to be a detail view. So I can see more of a kind of a flipbook experience of all of my different pieces. And I can go ahead and show that hidden column of the image of Ned right there. I can even just drag and drop this up and move it around. I also love that maybe I could do a whole chart. So maybe I want to do a chart of how I was feeling. So we're gonna say, great, let's do a line chart. And I want this line chart to be for my journal entries, just like so. And I can see, ah, my mood is going down, but maybe tomorrow it'll go up. So try the journal template, incorporate your own uh, feelings, your own things, feel free to add whatever makes sense to you. And more importantly, just have some fun.